Copy that. Reapers did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. I let you go back on Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. We kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of sour notes drowned us out. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. The children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grud. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's a mess. She needs too much time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our left company dies. Is that clear? Uh, uh, can't escape. But before I do that, um, one thing is does bug me is that this plays out exactly the same if you killed the Reaper of the Rachni in the first one. Basically, the the Reaper just like do some weird clone version of her, and this plays out basically exactly the same. So that whole choice in Mass Effect One doesn't really have a real effect at all. Um, it's a bit stupid. I think the only difference is, is that. You can't convince her to like help you. She like if she you have to kill her. I think if she's a reaper like version. So it's somewhat different, but a little bit of a cop out on your decision in the first one. Anyway, let's help her escape. Listen up, our lab company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leading <laughs> my team. On my way. Commander, that's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. Do this. Why can he one shot the ravages? Shuttles down that path. I'll hold them off. Okay. Get out of here, Shepard. My turn.
Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. We're waiting. <laughs> That's one thing I like. They play it out to be some grand death, but he fucking pulls through anyway. Anybody got something to eat? Uh. I don't know if he can die. Maybe if you don't do his loyalty mission, he can die. Into you know, if you didn't do it in two, maybe. I'm reviewing a report on the Rakhine situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rakhine Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rakhine troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Kill. Cool. All right, let's get to the Citadel now, I guess. Unless anybody else wants to pop up. Let's have a quick look at our journal. We've got a considerable amount of stuff still left, though. We ran out of assignments and bits and bobs, but a lot of my decides them to hand in. Um, so, yeah. We've got a main mission on the Citadel, which I think will trigger when we go there. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with these side quests we have to handle. I have a buddy who got discharged. Category 6 after Eden Prime. That's 6? Yeah. Right. Commander, there's a new message yep. you'll probably be. Okay. What is it? You yeah, we'll take down all the giant spiders to take down Grunt. He's in the med bay. He's also requested a swift transfer to medical safety on the Some of his company refused to be separated and are in the cargo bay. Oh, okay. I'm going to pop down and see him. Okay. I want to go down and see him now. If he's going to be there. That'd be cool. Just a load of Krogan just standing around in there. Uh, this way. Oh, I don't see tons of Krogan. See how he is anyway. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars. I think he actually likes them. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, our scars are a bit kind of mixed. They're kind of somewhat healing, I think. Can I fix all that here? They're not here. There is some way you can fix them, though. I'm not sure where. There is a way to fix your scars. No. I don't think they're going to be too much of a problem. I think they will fade away because we'll be overly mainly Paragon. So we should be alright. Oh yeah, there's that random woman we assigned to be the chef. For the mod. She's cooking invisible food. Good job there. <laughs> Check your hand about over the oven, that works. Have we found oh, I've been in ages. For the crucible glyph. Five Exonex industry scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garbuck. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvak. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists' amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Okay, cool. Right. Um, me, Cliff. Um, right. Uh, oh, fucking hell. What have we must I've got three through right now. Let's check where we are, see if she's got anything you need to say. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. <laughs> It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but 
None will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. <laughs> of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Okay. At your service. Warp unlocked wired wall. Okay. Let's check in with Garrus. And Jadka. Been to see Jadka in ages. And, um, carry on. Where is he? It's down here somewhere. Should be here. The calibrations. Somewhere, shouldn't he? Garrus? Look, where is he? Well, he's supposed to be here. That's strange. Has he done engineering somewhere? Huh, that's weird. Has he popped in one of these side rooms? Have a quick look. No, not in there. It's a bathroom, isn't it? Yeah. Not in here. Fuck is Garrus? He's just disappeared. Training is. Wasn't the first time we've oh, faced him. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, sure. Seen them before? And so I a few years back on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragni Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, <laughs> it didn't seem that way at the time. But mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Right. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead reapers now. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go see Judge quickly. Gotta look at Jimmy over on, but it's been ages. I don't know where everyone else's could be. He's just joking, left for him there. James probably got to talk to really. Javik, yeah, where's Javik? I think he's in engineering, isn't he? On like one of the side rooms. Yeah, I haven't talked to Javik in ages. He's in like um, Grunt's old room, isn't he? Here he is. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Same. And the Krogan who lived in his quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution <laughs> demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. 
Though I do not think your story approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. As stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Okay. Um, if I build that thing, where is it? Oh, I'll get it. Can I ask him anything else? Commander, there was no such thing as trusting the Ragna in our cycles. They were animals. Hmm. But if they will fight the around them. now, so be it. Ragnai proved the universe favors the strong. Our cycle tried to exterminate them, then yours, and they still survived. Okay. Right, um, yeah, let's talk to Joker. I'd like to catch up with anyone, because there are some plot points that can happen if you, like, have favor enough people. I didn't mean to go up to the cabin. Um, although we might as well change our armor for a bit. I'd like to change the color every now and then. Um, right, um, where's the bloody, oh, there we go, we're white for a bit, or blue, maybe blue, I don't know, no, that's quite cool actually, white, yeah, I think white, it's quite cool. My back. Let's go. Yep. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. Let's go see Jake quickly. Probably we'll a message on terminal. Got to trainer as well, so she's got. Commander, me. come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. <coughs> In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Carry on, specialist. Alright. I'm still not sure what I'm doing about that whole romance thing. I'm going to keep Kane or go with someone else if I do. I think it may be her. I think you can romance her. Or maybe Liara. I'm not sure. I really don't know. Irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. <laughs> Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? This body's performance seemed adequate on our last mission. But only adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. <laughs> Perhaps we should speak privately. Okay. I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. 
He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Okay. Right. Um, oh, no, this way. Okay. Why is there a guard here? What's he doing? On the phone or something? <laughs> That's weird. Right then, um, I think now it's time to get back to the Citadel. We have SideQuest to hand in and bits and bobs, but I don't know, because I think there's a certain plot point that might trigger now. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's go.